Hello and welcome to this lab in Pro Engineer. In this lab, we'll be discussing the extrusion feature. I'm looking at the document right now, and it's always a good idea to review what's expected of you before you start the task. And here you can see a part that involves many features. Click on New to start a new part, and I'm going to call this one Lab 2. Click OK. Now, if you look back at the document, you already been given the sketch and planes on front, the reference is right, and the orientation is right. Click on the extrusion icon, click on placement, click define, and the sketch and plane will be front, and the reference is right, which is the right datum plane, and orientation is right. So you're all set to start. Now, at the beginning, you just get the general shape that you're trying to build with very little attention to the exact size. Now, here is an advice. Pro Engineer always draws out of proportion. This is 83 units. Now, if you go back, this needed to be one. My advice to you is the very first line you draw, if you adjust it to the size you need, everything else pretty much comes into scale. And now you could go back and verify. This should be 2.25, I believe. Accept. Now, if you look back at the document here, you should have extrusion depth two units, extrusion type is solid, and extrusion depth option is symmetric. So we'll go back here. The depth was two, and it should be symmetric, and solid. It's already a solid. This is surface, and this is solid. Now, the difference between solid and surface, surface does not really have any material. It's not really a part. It's more like a mark. It's more like a line on a paper. To where salad involves material and which would have its own properties. If we were advanced in pro engineer, this could mean um, material strength. It could be uh, structural analysis. It could be many things. And accept. Now this is your base feature. Now, you could call it base feature, which is not required at this point. The next step is to do the vertical cuts. Now, if you look here, you're sketching on the bottom. Your reference is this edge here, marked in red. Orientation is top. And sketching references, which when you get into sketching mode, you'll need to know which. It's all the four sides of the bottom. So let's go back. Now click on the extrusion icon, placement, define. If you remember, sketch and plane was the bottom, the bottom surface right here. If you click on it, right here. And the reference was edge, so change your filter to edge. Click on the edge here. And you can see it says edge and change the orientation to top and sketch. Now this is the outline of the bottom and we need to reference all four edges. Click on sketch, references, and you need to select the edges. So change your filter to edge and select and you can see it added in here edge and so like now all four here all four edges are referenced so if you go back and see what's required of you here it's required is two rectangles click on the rectangle tool there's one
Here's the other. Okay, notice one of them goes all the way to the edge and the other doesn't. So if we go back, let's just do one at a time. 2.75, 3.75, and 0.5 is the height. I'll click into the dimension, 0.5. add a dimension from the edge to this line and this was to be 2.75 and then another dimension from this line to the other side of the rectangle and that was to be 3 so 2.75 here 2.75 3 Oh, that was 3.5. No wonder it looked a little bit weird. 3.5. Okay. Now for the other cut. It was 3. And referencing from the top edge is 150. So we add this dimension from this edge to the outer edge. And that should be 3. And from this edge here to this edge, that was 150. Okay. Let's modify him. 1.5 and 3. I'll accept. If you rotate your part, you can see it's sticking outside the base. So you obviously have to flip it so it's going forward, uh, upward rather. So let's go back and see. Okay, depth option to selected surface, marked in yellow right here. So this is your depth option. Change it to selected feature and select this surface. And you want this to be a cut, so you want to click on the cut icon. Preview. So of course, it's easier to preview it in shade, and that's pretty much how we would need it to look like. And accept. The horizontal cut. Now, if you notice, the horizontal cut is placed on the surface we just created in the previous cut. And it should extend all the way to the yellow surface. We do need to reference the bottom edge on the two vertical edges. So let's get started. So click on the extrusion icon, placement, define. For sketching surface, we'll select this surface. And for the reference, we'll select this edge, change the, and the orientation to top. Now I find it easier to, to draw an un unshaded part. But that's just me. Okay, we need to reference, like I said, we need to reference this edge, this edge, and the bottom edge. Click on Sketch, Reference, and select this edge, this edge, and this edge is already selected. Close, and we need to draw a rectangle here. The height was 0.5, except, and now if you rotate your part, it's sticking out to where we need it to be a cut, so we need to flip it inwards, and we need to select the surface to this surface, so we'll change the option to selected surface, change the filter to surface, and click here, and you can see it. And uh, since it's a cut, you need to click on cut and accept. Now, if you look at the part, it reflects that no cut. 